Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today I have a book review on Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. And I read this for a buddy, Reed with Thomas. It was a lot of fun. We read one chapter a day. So it took me quite a while to actually finish this in doing so because I believe I finished on the 24th because we counted the prologue as a day. And basically, if you're new to my book reviews or just in your fresher, I read books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading in very soon, five to five, not so soon, one to five. Also, this will be a spoiler for your reviews, so if you have not read it and you don't want to be spoiled, you're in the clear. So basically, if I'm looking down, looking at my notebook, where I'm keeping score of all the categories. So basically, this book, I didn't know very much going into it. And I knew a bit because I'd seen, I hadn't watched anybody's actual review because I didn't want to be spoiled, but I had seen Goodreads reviews and I saw like taglines like pirates, time travel, like I knew it was a time travel book. What I initially thought looking at this cover was that it was going to be a world inside somebody's glass bottle that they had in their house. Like it's just like a world going on and there's people on the outside. Now wouldn't that be cool? But this is not what it was. Not saying it couldn't be this because maybe it is this. That would be a really cool twist if it like came back because I'm not sure how long the series is going to be, but there is at least a second book coming out. I believe January 3rd, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And I didn't know very much going into this, but basically it's about a girl named Etta and a boy named Nicholas. And it's told in dual perspective, but it's not like one chapter's Etta, one chapter's Nicholas. It's like, mo like out of the like coordinating chapters, three quarters of this book was out of Etta's narrative and then a quarter was out of Nicholas's narrative. So it wasn't evenly balanced between the two, which I kind of enjoyed because certain perspectives were better in certain people's viewpoints. Basically this story is about Etta trying to find something for the Ironwoods and she goes along with Nicholas and they're kind of exploring to find this. That's basically the gist of the story. There's time travel, pirates, action, adventure. It's very out of the realm of something I would actually read. If it weren't for the buddy read, I don't know if I've even picked this, if I would have even picked this book up by myself, but I liked having, knowing that somebody else was reading at the same time. So it's different. It takes me longer to concentrate on this because I mentioned my comprehension before, um, which my learning problem bit, but actually adventure harder for me to concentrate so I was happier reading one chapter a day because I could really sit down and focus on it whether than just trying to gobble up the book all at once. Um, so the plot I gave a 3.5 out of 5. This is not my cup of tea per se. I'm really into contemporary. I don't really like action adventure because of that reason and my like my comprehension and because of it's just something I don't gravitate towards but I'm intrigued enough that I want to pick up the sequel. I'm determined to pick up the sequel. Um, this book, like it has some slow parts, but it has some really fast points and some intriguing points. There's some parts I didn't care as much for, but for the most part, I think it had a pretty good plot. Like it wasn't perfect to me or close to perfect, but it was like definitely above average. It was definitely a worth the read. Um, I don't criticize it for that. And I just, I really liked it. I liked certain parts. I liked how they were time traveling and it would tell you where they were, what like there's pages telling you where they were, all that. So it wasn't hard to follow along with that. I liked how they set up the, they kind of told you piece by piece because Etta wasn't um, versed in time travel, which really reminded me kind of a Kirsten Gears book Ruby read at first. Um, I haven't read the last book in that series. I still need to finish that trilogy off, but I've read the first two. And it kind of reminded me of how Gwen, I believe her name is, how she felt at the beginning. And I really like that aspect of that because I really do like the first two books in that trilogy because I haven't read the third but one. But I really liked how the time travel elements were broken down because our main character had to understand it, which I find is sometimes very helpful because then you're not just assumed, to, like, expected to know. So, well, because you couldn't really know. But I really, I just really like the plot. Um, characters, I give a four to five. I didn't like the characters as much at the beginning. I found Etta really annoying at the beginning. Um, I'd say it took me about 70 pages to get into the characters and actually feel a connection or like care for their well-being. Um, but yes, I really did enjoy this. Um, for the characters, I really liked Nicholas and Etta. I liked mostly all the side characters. I don't feel the side characters were as developed as Etta and Nicholas because they were time traveling. But I really do like Etta and Nicholas's characters. Um, I think their development is going like, it's slower now, but I feel like in the next book they're going to be fully developed and they might just be a 5 out of 5 for me. Cover, I give a 5 of 5. Like, look at this. Enough said. Like, it is gorgeous. It's like, and then look at this. Like, I was just dying over this. But like, it's like baby blue with the silver. It's just so pretty. I'm like, this would be a cover buy if I did that, but I don't. But, you know, that's thing. Um, suspense, I give a 3.5 of 5. I wanted to keep, some days when I was finished my chapter, I really wanted to read the next one, but some days I was just like, didn't feel it. But I'd say, Three quarters of the day, I three quarters of the days that I did read this, I wanted to go read the next chapter immediately. And there's like about a quarter of the days where I could sit it down for a day and come back to it and not be upset. Overall, I give this book a 3.5 to 5. Now, the readability of this is 
it's close to 500 pages so it doesn't have high readability for me but I might I don't think I might I don't think I'm going to be able to reread it before the sequel comes out but I'm definitely considering rereading it before the sequel comes out because so I don't forget anything um because some parts were a bit hard for me to grapple so yes yeah, so that was my book review on Passenger by Alexandra Bracken I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye